What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. It's been an exciting week with all the different iOS releases we've seen this week and today Apple officially made the iOS 10 beta public. Now we were expecting this based off of their announcement at the WWDC this year and they did say July time frame so here it is guys. You guys can officially download the iOS 10 beta onto your iPhone without being a developer. So I know a lot of you guys might have a bunch of questions and I'm going to try to answer the main questions I think you might have in this video. First off you might be asking how do you download the iOS 10 public beta? Well, this question should be pretty straightforward. All you have to do is open up your web browser on your device, go to beta.apple.com. You can also do this on your computer and you should see a sign up button right there on the website. Once you go ahead and click sign up, you'll be greeted with a screen to sign in with your Apple ID and it should be pretty straightforward from there. Apple will guide you through the process. If you are on your iOS device, it should be the same process I showed you guys with the developer profile. All you're gonna have to do is download download the profile to your device, hop into the settings application, and it should download just like any other software update. Now it's 100% free to try out the public beta and you won't have to worry about possibly being locked out like many of you were with the developer beta downloading it to your device. Pretty good deal. Question number two, a lot of you guys might be wondering, is the public beta any different than the developer beta? Well, to put it simply, no, they're basically the same exact operating system. With the developer version, Apple released beta one in June and beta two just came out this week, which I have installed here on my iPhone 6. The iOS 10 public beta is the same thing as the iOS 10 beta 2 of the developer version. All the features and all the bug fixes that come with iOS 10 beta 2 developer version are all included in the iOS 10 public beta. So you're not missing out on anything by installing the public beta. You get the exact same version as we currently have for developers. Now another question I'm assuming you guys are wondering is whether or not you should install the iOS 10 beta onto your device. Now this actually actually has a number of factors that I'm going to put into play here, but really it just depends on what you want to do with your device. Now to begin, betas are very, very buggy to begin with. I have noticed that iOS 10 beta is not actually that buggy. It's a lot better than the betas in the previous versions of iOS that I've played around with in the past. But I have noticed that some things aren't as good as they are on the official public release of iOS 9.3.2. Some of those main differences happen when you open and close an application. There's a slight lag and really you will notice it eventually. Another thing I noticed on my other devices is that some of the applications that I usually use on the public releases of the firmwares like Facebook and other applications may actually crash because the developers haven't coded the applications yet for iOS 10. Also you might experience some lag and some crashing. I haven't really experienced too much so I gotta say iOS 10 beta is a lot better than the previous versions of iOS but betas are betas so don't be surprised when you see bugs and things lagging. You cannot expect a beta to really be that good as it is in beta form and that's kind of the purpose of a beta for everybody out there in the public to test it out and let Apple know about all of these bugs that they need to fix before it is finally released. Now if you're willing to actually deal with all of those bugs and the risk involved it really isn't too bad. You should be able to get by with just the basic functions and you really shouldn't have any problems with most applications. So should you install it my official recommendation is if you have an extra device laying around definitely go ahead and install it. Should you install it on your main device? Well, that's really up to you. I decided to ultimately uninstall it from my main device. Over here on the right, I have my iPhone 6S and this is running iOS 9.3.2 because I really just didn't want to deal with the bugs and apps not working on my main iPhone and my daily driver. But if you guys want to install it, you really shouldn't have any problems with it. It will work. That's really up totally to you. Just be prepared for some crashing, a little bit of lag and some applications not working. So that's the iOS 10 public beta, guys. That's how you can install it. That's my my thoughts on it and really that's just my general experience with it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment down there in the description. Also be sure to follow my Twitter, my website, my Facebook, and my Google Plus pages Macintosh Review all down there in the description. I've also got links for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps for free and yeah let me know what your experience is with iOS 10 guys. Thanks a lot for watching and as always stay awesome. Peace.